Uh, my name is Dan Gallagher. Alex Ross. Nice to meet you. What is your connection here? I'm an editor at Robinson Hearts. You seem to be discreet. Oh, God, yeah. Are you? When I watch movies, I watch them through the lens of the characters and the lessons we can draw from their story, their character and behavior. And because this movie provides many great lessons, I invite you to watch the video where we will see once again the cheater, side chick and the wife relation. We will speak about each perspective and try to see how this relation have formed through the movie. And as this channel is all about becoming a high value, alluring and unforgettable woman, we will zoom in on the character's breakdown for the woman involved in this movie and we will see what can be learned from them. And Fatal Attraction is quite similar to the last movie I have dissected for you, Damage from 1992. The stories are similar but you will see how different behavior and energy of each woman and their character makes difference in the man's behavior and this is what I'm trying to learn myself and teach here so we can avoid mistakes in our relationships and embody better traits. Also as a disclaimer I'm not judging any of the characters, we are only trying to learn lessons from them and become the best versions of ourselves. So let's get into the video. As for the plot, Fatal Attraction is a 1987 American psychological thriller directed by Adrian Lane and it tells a story about a successful man Dan who is happily married to his wife Anne and who after a casual fling with a woman he meets at a party, Alex, falls into a stalking situation he can't free himself from. And today we will look close at the relationships and each side and we will try to understand what has happened and why. So let's speak about the wife character now. And the more movies I watch through this lens of the wife, cheater and side chick relationship, we can see that there are very similar traits to all of those. First of all, the wife is usually loving, caring, giving it all, woman who takes good care of the husband, kids and giving it all from her heart. Yet I hate how terribly bad they get treated in those stories. However, again, we can see that similarly like in the movie Damage that I made a breakdown a week ago, they have all the light, feminine energy, all their warm aura, homemaking abilities and they are always there in the home always for the service of their families. Usually the wife is the total opposite of the mistress. Probably we can also say that this is wife, why the wife got wiped up and the mistress is getting the leftovers. So everything what is left after the main thing. And especially in this movie, Fatal Attraction, we can see that the wife is really that wholesome woman who after years of marriage lost her sensual charm to that man and he decided to cheat on her and seek what he's most definitely missing in their marriage. And let's make a little digression here. There are plenty of feminine YouTube coaches around YouTube and I have been consuming enough of this content to apply all what I have learned and see the patterns in the movies. And I have noticed something in the behavior of the wife that I think is a good lesson to take from here. Every time she spoke with her husband, she spoke about their kids, the home life. Well, listen, there's some of the spaghetti sauce in the refrigerator if you get hungry. Great, okay. Uh, how's Ellen doing? Oh, she is having the best time. I just hope that dad survives it. <laughs> and ladies, this caring mother energy is beautiful and we should praise it, value it and respect it, of course. But from what I know, you must also take care of your marriage separately. So when you speak with your husband, take some of his attention to you, flirt with him, build the relationship, be playful, connect and be also mysterious a little. Don't give him all the information on the golden plate and don't let all your conversations be about kids, about the home and wifey stuff. I think what we can learn here is that the goddess side of us women, the seductive dark feminine energy is often missing after years in a relationship with one person. And the couple then becomes more like a roommate best friend type of relationship. And this is probably the reason why this man left, felt like he needed to go and cheat. 
And I think that if we really pay attention to that, in the future movies, we will see more of this pattern and we will learn how to activate our dark feminine energy so we can have all the goddess energy to us, including the dark and the light feminine one. And I definitely want to learn more about seduction and about those affair situations in movie to see patterns and from what I have learned, the mistress usually exudes the strong dark feminine energy, which often the wife loses in the busy life and the home and the marriage life. And so I want to learn more about the mistress and see what can we take from their energy and behavior to be able to keep that strong attraction in our marriage. So what can we learn from Alex at the beginning? So she's well-dressed, she has that sultry and again mysterious aura around her. Once again, dark feminine energy. She's playful and she's spontaneous. We can see that she's well-dressed, taken care of, and I think she also gives that independent vibe to her. And especially Alex, I think that she had that bit of adventure to her, that little danger that also probably seemed from the cheater very alluring and new. And we can clearly see that in the eyes of the Alex uh, character, the danger, the adventure. And I think this was also the alluring part. And I think that a man who has a pretty predictable life at home, who have knew his wife for many years, he will be drawn to that new mysterious and dark aura of the new woman. Different place, different story, something very unpredictable and also dangerous. And of course, her behavior changes very quickly in the movie and later the man is practically running from her but I have already made a specific special movie about her pathetic behavior so you can watch that if you are interested. So let's speak about the cheater side now. And I think all of us, we don't really like his behavior. It is disgusting to be cheating on his loving wife like this. And the more I live and see such similar stories now, when I do breakdowns for you on this topic, I can see how big a role loyalty plays for me. And I know for sure I would never be able to forgive such betrayal and I hope I can find a loyal husband myself. And this one probably got bored of his healthy and happy family life. Probably some unmet needs that he thought he could fulfill with the mistress. However, you can see in the movie that he really loved his wife. He respected her. He was building his life with her. We can see that she was his main lady. And he tried to protect her at all costs later on. And also Alex, I think she was a victim too. And her behavior showed a lot of psychological problems. I think that she was naively hopeful hoping that this man would leave his wife. After all, why would you cheat on something that you value? Why would you betray someone that you love? And I think that's a good question too, that if you decide to step out and involve yourself with someone else, isn't that a proof that what you have is of low value to you and you would be better off living this completely? So a lot of questions here and a lot of probably triggering topics. After all, I think that the caring and loving nature of the wife made her married, made her respected, made her be waved up. And those are far more valuable traits than the ones of the mistress. However, the wife could also, and again, embody of more of those dark feminine traits, put herself first and be more mysterious, try to be more sultry, more spontaneous, more unpredictable in a way. So that's it guys, thank you very much for watching, as always leave a comment with your thoughts on the movie and the breakdown I have made, thank you, bye bye.